Hello. It's serious time here on Janos Geisky Reads a Poem today, because we need to talk about something. Lunch ladies. Did you have a lunch lady growing up? I did not have a lunch lady. I don't know anyone who did. Everyone I know would just bring their ham sandwiches in a plastic bag and eat them alone at their desk at lunch. Except for my brother, he would like boil a hot dog every single morning for lunch and then bring it in a thermos full of hot water and eat warm hot dogs every single day. But he's a little bit weird. There were no lunch ladies though. No lunch ladies in sight. And I'm wondering, do they exist in real life? Is this just like a conspiracy? Is it like some marketing tool? Because everyone knows like the iconic image of the lunch lady, how they look, how they smell, things like that. But I don't know if they exist in real life. They do exist, however, in this poem I'm going to read today. It's called On Our Journey to the End of the Earth. Um, it goes like this. On our journey to the end of the earth, we took a greyhound so old there were cigarette holes in the upholstery. Out the window there were seagulls, and we asked, Are they doves or are they angels? And the driver said nothing, because his throat was a copper tube made from melted down pennies. On our journey to the end of the earth, our clothes were blown from our bodies, and we tried not to be ashamed, fingers gripping into our skin in case that was supposed to go too, and we tried not to be ashamed about being ashamed. We walked all night, every night, sure each road was the last road, only to see another street still longer in the scorch of the morning sun, until one day, when we'd be gone so long we couldn't remember where we'd come from or what had come before, we really did find the end. We saw the universe was an open mouth with no teeth. We saw the universe was a woman, and we already knew her name. Linda, our elementary school lunch lady, hands still swollen and smelling like bleach decades later. We stood staring into the abyss, the three of us, you, me, and Linda, who was now the universe, who'd lost weight since we saw her last, doling out fish sixth to fifth graders all those years ago. The three of us, unsteady and smiling in the wind of the world and that great gaping greatness of the end before us that would one day absorb us. And the bus driver from before was there too, and so was your old soccer coach, the one who used to tap your bum in such a way that made you unsure if it was inappropriate or not. And then we didn't know what to do. After journeying so long on land too dry to drink from, both too hot and too cold, and with only store-brand cereal to eat, all we could ask was why were we there and where had we come from. So that was the poem. It was called Journey to the End of the Earth. Thanks for watching this video.